Today we are heading off down the River Thames for a brisk indoor walking workout. During these 19 minutes, we will be doing intervals of 30 seconds of brisk walking and 60 seconds of a multi-compound exercise move to engage and really get those muscles activated in the body. You can make this workout as easy or as challenging as you like by increasing your pace, range of movement and adding arms in. This is great for all abilities and you can always have a sturdy sideboard to hold on to if you need help with your balance. Do stop if you experience any pain or discomfort and be sure to check with your GP that this exercise is suitable for you. So let's grab those trainers, a bottle of water and let's go for a good old stomp. Starting with a nice easy walk to get the heart rate going and we're just going to warm up here so keeping those arms moving at a nice comfortable pace for you. Tummy in, shoulders down and chin up. Off we go. Heading into a lunge back, alternating, keeping the heel off the floor. To make it a little bit more challenging, add a single arm or double arms. Take it back into a nice brisk walk. You can make this as easy as you like, or you can start to increase the pace by lifting your knees up a little bit higher. Let's get the heart rate going. Double side step, adding in a hamstring curl. So I'm just gonna show you the side step and then we're gonna add in the curl. Here we go, curl. Excellent, now keep it here if you wish or you can add in the arms. You're doing really well, let's keep that pace going. For a brisk walk or you can pick it up for a jog if you wish totally up to you keep your posture nice and tall tummy muscles in open out through the chest get all the good oxygen in towards your lungs <laughs> Heading for a knee raise and a kick. So it's the same knee and the leg. Keeping your pace nice and comfortable for you, just raise your leg as high as what feels comfortable for you personally.
for a walk or it's going in for a jog so whatever suits your own personal body today listen to your body that's it nice and steady into skaters. So option one is just to tap the foot behind. Option two is to take the hand down to the knee. Option three, you're going to take it even lower down towards the ankle to the floor. So you can choose what suits you best. You can even be holding on to the back of a chair or a sturdy sideboard to do this and you don't need to be bending down. Well done guys, you can do this. Let's burn some calories. Back in for a brisk walk or a jog. Your heart rate should be coming up now and you should be feeling like you're having a really good workout. Heading into a forward tap and a leg raise, so alternating tap and alternating leg raise. You can add the arms in if you wish. Let's take it back in for a brisk walk or a jog again. Off we go, you're doing really well. Keep the pace. Box step forward and tap the foot, lead with the other side. Here we go. Tap and tap. Good stuff. Add the arms in if you wish or keep your hands on your hips. Back in for a walk or a jog. Again, check your posture and let's get going. Well done, guys. Just 
diagonal side step forward and then four walks back. That's it, keeping your pace nice and steady. If you want to make a bigger range of movement, have a bigger step to get your heart rate going a little bit more. And you can even come up for a little bit of a spring and a hop in each step if you want to work that little bit harder. Good stuff, keep it going. There has to be a way, a way out of this place. Just gotta follow our tracks. Remember what you said way back when we met. It went something like this. You take my breath away. It's crazy how you're making me feel the way you're smiling at me. I want it back, this feeling. I can see us working it out. You're all that matters to me. Back in for a brisk walk or jog. You're doing really well. Relax those shoulders. Think about all those calories you're now burning, getting all those muscles working, activating the cells in the body. This is super work. This is a side squat and another side squat, adding in a knee raise. Now you can take it just for a little knee bend or a medium squat, or you can come in for a deep squat. And I'm gonna show you each example of that as we go through. So if you have any knee issues, just do a small knee bend. If you really want to make those glutes and the thighs work in your calf muscles, you're gonna go for a deep squat. So hold on, hold on. We just gotta jog well done just jogging past the cows now steady breath it's a beautiful day out here today bringing the sunshine into your home Step and heel dig, so you're stepping and you're digging the heel in, keep your movements nice and small until you feel comfortable and then you can make them a bit bigger and add in the arms. It's all about the pace with this movement. for a brisk walk or jog, off we go. Again, open out through the chest, steady breath. Let's really get that metabolism working. Start to up your game. Super, you can do it. forward and we're doing an alternating side tap and then walking back again. Good, you can just use your legs or you can add in the arms.
Back in for a brisk walk or jog. Super stuff. Keep it nice and steady for you. Diagonal taps, that's it, step and touch, step, touch and back, super, add the arms in if you want to increase your metabolism working a little bit more, get your heart rate going, build your stamina, that's great. Brisk walk or jog again, you're nearly there, you're doing so well. Think of how good you're going to be feeling at the end of this workout today. Certainly got your steps in for today. into a grapevine and then we're going to tap the heel with the hand so you can either keep it with a simple grapevine or you can add in that tap behind good use your arms if you wish or just keep your hands on your hips For a brisk walk or jog this is your last brisk walk or jog and then we've got one more minute to go so make it a good one you're nearly there Last one, opening the gate, so it's a hip opener here and you're using your balance mechanisms and your muscle structure to hold you nice and strong. You can put your arms out to the side for balance or hold on to a sturdy sideboard if you need to. Good, really pull the core in, engage those muscles. This is a little bit of an abdominal workout as well at the same time as working those legs and hips. Standing nice and tall. you have made it all the way through well done that's fantastic